Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the introduction video of the web development fundamentals. So when you're watching this video, chances are likely you're either new to web development or need a solid refresher. Uh, we will be focusing mainly on three core technologies, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are, you could say, the three building blocks of the web. Um, now, I'd like to emphasize that this takes some people years to master. So um, we won't be covering all of it, but we will cover enough to get started with the rest of the course. Um, in the next video, we will um, learn about the terminal, how to use it. Um, and along the road, we will also learn about DevTools, which is pretty much a set of tools inside your browser uh, made for web developers. Uh, we will learn about Git and GitHub. Git is a um, version control system and GitHub is an online platform where you can, can store your code and uh, share it with other developers, but also collaborate together on a piece of code. But before that, I would like to ask you to install a couple of tools. And the first tool we will be needing is Google Chrome. Now, you could use any browser you like. However, I recommend you to download Google Chrome because as of today, it seems to be the most developer friendly browser. And if you're wondering what extensions I've got installed, you can find them down in the description. Um, and the second thing we have to download is Visual Studio Code. You can already see it on the right side. Um, I, I've got it already installed, but you can do so as well by visiting Visual Studio Code. You can simply go to the website and download it for your system. Uh, I won't be showing it because it's just as easy as installing any other program. Um, and again, if you are wondering what extensions I'm using, you can find that in the description. However, that is completely optional. Um, so if you've got uh, Visual Studio Code installed, um, I would like you to install a extension called Live Server. And you can install it by clicking on this icon right here. And we search for Live Server. I got it already installed, but you can do it right now. And it's the one by Ridwick Day. Next up, um, you need to install Git. Um, however, uh, this is for Windows users only. If you are on Mac or Linux, you don't have to do this. However, if you want to download it for Windows, you have to search Git for Windows. And be aware, you need to have this one, gitforwindows.org, and you can download it. Um, and then the next thing you have to do, if you've downloaded Git for Windows, um, you have to, uh, uh, well, have your settings right in Visual Studio Code, uh, and you, you can do that by pressing Ctrl Shift P, and then search for select default profile. Now if I press enter, I have to select git bash. Um, if you did that, you are good to go. So that was it for today. I see you in the next video.